Welcome, episode seven, two minute warning. Back with my NFL slash NBA expert, Greg. Today we're looking at 2020 Super Bowl predictions, some playoff pictures. What do we have to start with? All right, so I mean, just looking at the playoff picture right now. I mean, this, with this new NFL format. What's the, what's the new format? Go over that. So the format is basically there's only one divisional round, and okay. there's, there's seven seeds now, so it's okay. seven make so, it in the playoffs. So we're going to have more teams in the playoffs this year. Yeah, and only one team gets a bye first round. Got it, one first round bye. Cool. So right now, um, we're looking at one seed is the Titans out of the AFC. Fair. Undefeated, obviously. Okay. One seed. Now this is the playoff picture as of week five, you're saying. As yeah. of week five. Yep. As of right now, mm-hmm. when we're filming, Got Tennessee's it. the one. Yep. Seattle's the one in the NFC. Okay. And then rounding it out. Um, Green Bay is the two in the NFC. Steelers are the two in the AFC. Steelers, okay. Yeah, some uh, undefeated. Uh, undefeated still. They haven't faced the Ravens yet. That'll be interesting. Yep. Yeah, seven seeds out of the wild card are the Cardinals in the NFC and the Raiders out of the AFC. Okay. So, I mean, just I'm just right now. Um, a couple names that stand out to me. Um, somehow the Cowboys. Well, I mean that doesn't really surprise me because of how bad. Someone has to come out of that. Because of yeah, how bad the NFC East is, is, but right. the Cowboys are currently the four seed, which would pair them up to with the them. Rams, yeah. which I think would just be a schlacking by the Rams. <laughs> and so then, I assume, based off of current predictions, the Bucks are out of it. Bucks are not in the playoffs right now. Bucks are not in the playoffs. At three, at three and two, correct? Yeah. I win, I win this week over Green Bay would totally change that. Remember, this okay. is only week five uh, playoff setup, so this is all. Yeah, all it's all changed. speculative. I mean, right. I, I expect, I, my gut tells me that I think the Bucks, the Bucks will make the playoffs. I just don't see them getting past. It it shows what New Orleans winning playoffs. that division. New Orleans is uh, yeah. Oh yeah, because they won the head to head. Yeah, that's right. Three and two. Yeah. Yeah, but so, the Saints have shown more weakness. I than think they have so. In years yeah. past. So where does that put the uh, Kansas City Chiefs out of the AFC? They are three. The three seed. Three seed right now. The four um, being the the Bills. The Bills. The Bills out of the AFCs. Yeah. Yep. Um, I can see that changing. I don't know if the Cardinals will make it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I could see them making in that seventh seed. Yeah, but they won't make any noise. I don't. No. Whoever they play. Unless they play someone like the Bucks, that's like a complete no, yeah, match. Yeah, that's a toss-up. Parker, yeah. Parker, Parker right now they're slated. The scrambler. Yeah. Yeah. They're slated to play Green Bay if the season ended right now, which I'd yeah. obviously be a now, <clears throat> beat down. I don't see any way that this season ends without – well, I shouldn't say it anyway, but I still see the, the Chiefs coming out of the NFC as the one seed. Uh, not that that's a huge deal between one and three seed. Um, Titans will still win their division. At least they definitely should. Um, mm-hmm. Do you want to change this to playoff predictions? Right. So basically, out of the AFC, my lock-ins for each division would be Chiefs, Ravens, Bills, and then Titans. And then for the three wild cards, I would say Browns, Steelers, Patriots. I think Cam Newton will get into the playoffs, and I think he could make some noise. I think mm-hmm. he's a wild card play. He's with the best coach ever. If he gets the right matchup, I think yeah. he could take someone out. Yeah, for the round. Yeah, um, I think for me, if I had to. Uh... I mean, taking one quick look at the AFC, I definitely see the Titans winning their division. I don't know if they'll get the one seed because I don't see them yeah. going undefeated. They do have to play Kansas City at one point. So. Yeah, so that's going to be a challenge. Obviously, I got KC in there out of their division. Um, I could, you know, the Steelers division is a tough one, the AFC North. Um, yeah. Definitely, I think, I, I, my gut tells me that Baltimore is going to come out of there. Um, Steelers and Browns play this weekend. So. Yeah, Browns are looking a lot they're better. They're looking good. They're looking a lot better. They're looking good. But Their run game is beyond impressive. So I, yep. Nick but, Chubb being out, though, that could change. Right. But Kareem mm-hmm. Hunt, he can fill the role. He just hasn't been given it yet. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think it's crazy to see three teams out of the AFC North right now in the playoffs. Yeah. With the Browns, Ravens, yeah. and Steelers. Um, out of the AFC... Uh, out of the AFC, I got a very similar picture to what uh, Jameson said here. Bill's going to uh, take their division. Um, <clears throat> same thing with the Titans, going to win the AFC South. Uh, Ravens will win their division. And then Chiefs will win their division solidly. Now, wild card picture, I got Steelers still coming out of the AFC North. Uh, they're a great team, but I don't think they're going to beat the, uh, beat the Ravens for a division title. Also, I think Cam Newton can lead the Patriots to a wild card. Uh, appearance. I think I think they'll even push for for a division title. Maybe. What's the Pats record right now? I think they got to be three and two. Three and two. Three and so two. yes. Maybe two and two. Did the game get delayed? 
They did. They lost the game, I think. They're not lost, but postponed. Anyway, yeah, I think Cam Newton and the Patriots will, will will make a push to threaten uh, Josh Allen and the Bills for that for that AFC. I really East think spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. AFC come playoff time, first round, Patriots could be any team except maybe the Chiefs. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, the Patriots are always like a team. They just just Cam like, Newton's looking like MVP Cam. No, and that seventh spot of the AFC, I think I'm gonna take Houston uh, over Cleveland. Okay. Uh, Cleveland, I have a hard time having faith in them. They're playing great football. Baker Mayfield is playing great football. Uh, Nick Chubb is hurt. I don't know how long that. I don't He'll know be how back. He'll be back. It's like six. Kareem weeks. Hunt doing a good job there. They, of course, they got they got good receivers, but I just don't have faith in the Browns finishing out the season on a high note. I can't even fathom the Browns in the playoffs. It doesn't make sense to me. And I think Houston can maybe turn the season around and push for a nine and seven season. In a playoffs or in a wild card spot at the UFC. Nine and seven. It's bold. I mean, I'm getting a bold. call from an executive. I'll be offset for a second. And you guys carry on. My only, right? the only chance he's right is because of the new playoff brackets being seven seeds. Yeah, there's, there's, I don't see the Browns going from four and one to out of the playoffs. They'll still get the Bengals. Oh. Have they played the Bengals once already? The Browns? Have they played the Bengals? I'm not sure, but I mean. Cause that's guaranteed two wins. Yeah, that's, that's, that's close on the six and one. And yeah. then I don't know. To see, it's know. hard for me I to see the Browns on at least get ten wins. Okay. I think they'll split with the wins. Steelers once. They probably lose to the Ravens both. Times. They already lost on yeah. week one. Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, no. But they they play Dallas as division in the NFC. So between Eagles, like like four Eagles, Eagles Redskins, like Giants, wins. that's three more wins. Yeah. I think he's wrong. I got Browns. Just based off your schedule matchup, okay. the Texans have a way tougher schedule. Yep. Is, yeah, I just... Yeah, and who knows, they could... Their interim head coach could end up in bust, and a new one could also be bad. They could end the, end the season with one win. And then who did they beat last week? Jacksonville. Not a good team, but they played good football. So a lot about the Texans season it's is speculative, too, but... It's too early. But it's possible, I, and I... Uh, I think the Browns are at least put four wins coming to them, minimum. Okay. The Browns are just a better team than the Texans. I would definitely put... I mean, if I... I don't we know who the, the Browns, Browns coaches. Know anything about him? I forgot his name. Yeah, I'm just going with Freddie Kitchens. He's, yeah. he's their old guy. Yeah. He's, yeah. Yeah. he's in talk to win coach of the year, though. Okay, well, good for him. He's turning his uh, franchise around that. Well, let's just say, tar- is this his first year as a Browns coach? I'm not familiar. It is his first year, so good for him. I'm turning it around. Yeah. I, I think... Um, NFC picture, if we have much to say about that. I'm NFC? Sure yeah, we, I mean, right now, I, I think Chicago is playing a, you know, a lot of yeah. good football. Nate Foles is... Somehow, so, some way, also in that quarterback. So. He could be anyone, it yeah. seems like. Yeah. No, I mean, honestly. 2 0 against Tom Brady. Once against the real Tom Brady, and once against the Bucks, Tom Brady, who doesn't know what down it is. Yeah. But dementia. <laughs> dementia. But, yeah. Good for Nick Foles. I uh, also so. don't. I, I just don't see. I mean, right now, the Cardinals, I'm, you know, seeing them, I don't. I, I just don't see them making the playoffs, in my opinion. I, I, I would hope they do. I mean,. Just because of the new format, though, yeah, I can yeah. see them get a number seven, but yeah, it's just I, I feel like the Bucks are gonna take that spot. Oh, okay. they have the same record. I think the Bucks are gonna. I see. I'd say Seahawks, Packers. Um, I think the Bucks will win the division, and then someone's got to come up, come out of the Cowboys. I'll give it to them because I have faith in Andy Dalton over yeah. Carson Wentz, who has mm-hmm. like nine interceptions <laughs> to six touchdowns. Yeah, right. He's, so that's yeah. your four divisional. And then for three wild cards, Bears, Saints, and then probably between the Cardinals and Rams, I'm gonna go with Kyler Murray. Okay, I could honestly see. You know, it, it's kind of a bull take, but I could honestly see the Eagles winning that division. Yeah, it's, like, it's all for grabs. The Washington Football Team could come out of nowhere. Yeah, with Alex Smith no one's behind right. drastically. Yep. Like anything could happen. So you yeah. see, you see Rams not in the playoff picture for the NFC. I think in between them and the Cardinals, and I would take Kyler Murray, and with the addition of DeAndre Hopkins, you would take yeah. you would take the Cardinals. I, I Jared okay. Goff, with regard with exception to the one year made the the Super Bowl, has not been a great playoff quarterback. Um, and then of course that year in the Super Bowl he kind of folded. So I could I could see where that was. It could go good either way, right? Yeah, I. The Sean, Niners Sean McVay is argu- arguably to me the, the Niners aren't in the question. best coach. In the league, and yes, the Niners are weak. Lost Nick Bosa, Jimmy. I don't know where he is. Yeah, right. What's the deal, with Jimmy? Um, I definitely think that the Bears could make some noise in that division. Yeah, but the division with the Green Bay, like they could. Have they, they played this year? I don't think they've played. No, they, they haven't played. Played. Right. So that's definitely. God, but the Packers are so good. Yeah, I know. That's why it's like, 
But I could definitely, if, if anything else, the Bears would make them make a wild card because I can see them yeah. making a wild card game. You know what I mean? So, I, I, I just, I think for, if I had to pick, I would say Seahawks, 100%. Yep. Packers, easy pick. Saints, Bucks is a toss up for me. I'm going to say Saints because I think Drew Brees is still better than Tom Brady, even though he's like been playing like some horse shit lately. <laughs> but I still like. I that still completion like percentage Saints. is still up. 70% still Drew Brees, even though he's having a bad yeah. year. That's high. I just yeah, think the offense is too potent. Right. Like, Kamara is... And is Michael Thomas and questionable? Thing, or three two, two, arguably the best receiver in the league had him playing. So who knows? And what is his... His teammates were giving, giving him shit for something the other day. For being a... Yeah, he stuck... He stuck... Um, Chauncey what they Gardner, call him? They called him, like Chauncey. Chauncey. called him Slant Boy. Slant Boy, yeah. yeah, yeah he was really <laughs> His own teammate. And yeah. Arguably the best wide receiver in the game right now. Yeah, who knows? That could... Yep. Take the division away once he's back. And what about, I'm gonna say uh, division in NFC. Who you got? NFC. I'm I'm gonna say Eagles because the Cowboys yeah. always fuck shit up. So, I like, like they always <laughs> they always mess things up. Like, yeah, no, they, they always, do. They do. Uh, yeah. For me, out of the NFC, Seahawks a lock. Packers might get a little bit of pressure from the Bears, but that's also gonna be a lock. Uh, I'm really pulling for the Bucks. I think they're gonna find a way to do it. I don't see Tom Brady <clears throat> not in the playoffs. I don't know if yeah. that's ever happened since he's became a starter or even. Before he was the starter, or whatever. It's never happened. Yeah, never Tom Brady's got to be in the playoffs. I mean, I see a big Brady fold in the playoffs. I, I don't see that team winning. Oh no, I don't games. either. But just Tom Brady himself, he's gonna he's he's gonna find a way to get there. So yeah. Seahawks, Packers, Bucks as division winners, and then I can see I will see Andy Dalton leading leading that NFC East division, uh, and or leading the Cowboys to the title of that division. Um, but it's really up for grabs. And I, I give the the Washington football team a better chance of stealing that from them than the Eagles. Carson Wentz is very yeah, well, that was just a pain. not even inconsistent. Alex Smith is back. He's consistently bad, in my opinion. Carson Wentz, Alex Smith being back could be a bad thing for the Redskins. Could be a great thing. Who knows? But if anyone's going to take that NFC East title from the Cowboys, it'll be the Redskins football team. Whatever. Either way, Cowboys got that. So you got Saints and Bears for wild card. And that is your third wild card. Saints and Bears is a wild card. Um, New program, kind of a one-dimensional. No, that's not true. I just I take the Rams over the Cardinals okay. because I feel like so much of that offense is either Kyler Murray running the football or Kyler Murray, Kyler Murray throwing the football to DeAndre Hopkins. Um, yeah, I think when it comes down to a defense that's got to win a game, they can find a way to, to, to shut down uh, DeAndre. Yeah, between and then Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey. I think Kyler needs more weapons before they become a playoff team, so I got Rams, Saints, and Bears as wild cards out of the NFC. So the Bolts, yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the Rams are just better overall team. Probably the Cardinals. Team. Now, will they go deep in the playoffs? No, but will they probably make the wild card? Yes, the Rams. I mean, okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. Yeah. So. Good. Good. Solid uh, picks there. Two minute warning. Gentlemen.